Honeycomb boards for your laser when you're doing some cutting. We're going to compare some different kinds, including a homemade one coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And I'm going to compare some different types of uh, honeycomb boards here for cutting on your diode laser. And if you don't have one and you just have it laying flat on a piece of metal, even with air assist, the air assist side will turn out nice. Your back side will scorch, as on this little example here. So what I'm going to show here are everything from kind of expensive to kind of middle of the road to a smaller size for more economical to literally homemade. And this one was just a few bucks and most of the stuff was from, I should say part of it was from Dollar Tree. The other part's from uh, Home Store, and I actually did a video on how to make one of these. Uh, I used to do very, very little cutting here. Lately, I've been having to do a little bit more of it for some people, making some specialized things. And I've got a few projects in mind that I want to do, too, for my great-granddaughter with a dollhouse and miniature furniture. So there's going to be some cutting involved. So let's start out with the lower end of this. This is a Dollar Tree cookie sheet, $1.25. Inside it, I'll try to get this close up here a little bit. This is called plaster lath. It's a wire plaster lath. You can buy it at your home store. It comes in a pretty good size sheet. And as long as you keep it flat when you're cutting it up and you put a few layers in there, and this works very, very well. It's very economical. And uh, some people say, well, you know, it's galvanized and the zinc on it will make fumes. And well, I made the mistake of leaving a piece of this outside when it rained. Believe me, it's not galvanized. It rusts. So the next step up, depending on how big of a piece you're cutting, this one here is uh, actually from Longer, from my Longer laser. Uh, that's a name brand. It's not longer than other ones. It, that's the name brand. And it, it comes with a backing plate. And you definitely want to have a backing plate for your honeycomb board or you'll either be marking up your dining room table or your spoil board or whatever you have it sitting on. As you can see here, there's some stains on there. So that is one option. Um, fairly low cost, but it's a small size. Next up, you can get a board, and this one here is about 300 millimeters square. This is from a company called Make Like Sun. Really? And it has a backing plate too, and the, uh, the honeycomb on this is a lot finer than uh, either the one from Longer or the next one I'm going to show you from X-Tool. But it will also perform well. It has little plastic corner protectors on it uh, to keep you from banging the corners up. But it's, it's not nearly as well made as this one from X-Tool, but this one is a little more than twice the money. So something to think about there. So that's the middle of the road. Next, I'll go over here to the X-Tool. Okay, so when you pay more money, you get more, I guess. Uh, this also has a backing plate. They all do. The backing plate is much heavier gauge than the one from Make Like Sun. I like saying that. That's kind of fun. And this one here also has inch and millimeter and centimeter markings on the X and Y axis. Of course, you can't see the X axis because that's down here in the front. Uh, the honeycomb pattern on this is slightly larger, 
Uh, it hasn't made any difference in any of the cutting I've done and I'll demonstrate both of these two here to you shortly. But this one is also quite a bit more money. This one does come with some hold down magnets. Little guys here that stick to hold your work in place although I have not had a problem with my work moving around so I tend not to keep them on there but they are there and they are supplied. So if you're doing any kind of fine detail and this one here is a bear but he has a pine forest on his back and there's a lot of fine detail to it so we're gonna cut this out it's got a little moon that isn't gonna work out on this but the uh, cutout itself should be pretty interesting so I'll frame this in here first to make sure I'm on my piece of course this has air assist and we'll cut it now one of the ways you can make sure that you're cutting all the way through when you have a honeycomb board like this with that uh, metal plate underneath is you'll be able to see a reflection of the laser beam off of the bottom of that through those other parts of the honeycomb. There's that little moon there that isn't going to work out too well. But the other fine detail on this bear will show just how much of a difference a honeycomb board will make when you're doing cutting. Okay, so here we are. Yep, I'm into the sticker on the back of my Dollar Tree wood here. Didn't cut the sticker too well. Okay, there's some little fine pieces here that I need to poke out with a, a weeding tool or something very small, poke out them little pieces. So actually, if you're ever at a Harbor Freight, one of the few things a Harbor Freight sells that actually is useful and good are these little picks and probes so you can knock out those little bitty fine things. So there's my, oh, I missed one. There we go. There's my bear with the pine forest on its back. And that was on a factory Make Like Sun honeycomb board. I'm going to switch this over to a, my homemade one and we'll cut the same graphic. And I'll show you the back here. There's no scorching on the back either other than the sticker ended up in there, but that's immaterial. Okay, this is on the homemade variety, the under $20 invested. I'm going to frame this real quick and never mind the burned out bear you see there at the bottom. I was experimenting with a 2.5 watt laser and it didn't work too well. So we'll start this one. Never mind the smudges here, that's from where the sticker was that was on there. There's actually a graphic on the back side of this. Okay, so there's our cutout on the, the homemade board. Uh, what I found was there was a knot right here, which was keeping me from being able to get that to come out. Uh, there was something else on the back of this originally that just practice pieces of wood. But otherwise, uh, some smudges on there from the sticker, but otherwise it, it came out just as well with the homemade board as it does with the more expensive board. If you're doing small projects, you don't necessarily have to have a large honeycomb. This is even smaller than the uh, homemade one. This one is from Longer. And I'll do a little cutout on this. Frame it here. Make sure I'm within the cutting parameters. Missing everything. And incidentally, these little shapes I'm cutting on, you can pick them up at Dollar Tree for a buck and a quarter. And there's all kinds of different shapes, and it is actually cheaper than buying uh, this 3mm Baltic Birch plywood at a craft store. As long as you don't need really large pieces. So we'll get this started, and we'll cut her out. There he goes. Got a couple little whiskers in the back. Pop them right off. So there's a cutout using the longer honeycomb board. Three millimeter plywood. What you want to make is a cutout sign. Uh, this is again is one of those little uh, things you can get from Dollar Tree. This is on with the X tool honeycomb. 
and because this is such thin plywood, it's only two millimeter, I've got the little magnet set on there so that it doesn't move, because that plywood piece is not perfectly flat. But what I want to do here first is frame this. So rather than this being a cutout shapes that you would use, this is an actual cutout sign. So we'll give this a start. Okay, now the theory behind these signs like this, get out of there, and in hindsight I should have used a stencil font instead of uh, a regular font because my A and my E are going to be missing the little middle pieces, although you could save them and use them again, but your, the intent for one of these types of signs, okay, so the intent of one of these signs is you would put this glue it onto another background. Uh, like I said, I should have used a stencil font up here, but that little piece out of the A and the little piece out of the E, it's laying here. I could take that and also glue that to the backboard. It's generally done with a contrasting color on the back. That's just a little bit of an idea if you're interested in doing that type of thing. Otherwise, this is how the X-Tool make block honeycomb board performs. Could even add a bear if you wanted to. So as you can see, uh, between all of these, they, they all pretty much perform the same, even the little homemade one. And if you need a bigger one than the Dollar Tree cookie sheet, get a bigger cookie sheet. Or you could also put that lath onto a wood frame, make sure it was nice and flat. And you, of course, you want to have some type of base plate underneath that so you wouldn't ruin your table, your spill board, or whatever you have that sitting on. Uh, they all work. Uh, nobody supplied any of these to me. I, everything here was purchased. Uh, of course, the Dollar Tree stuff, Dollar Tree. The plaster lath came from Menards, which is a home store we have around here. This small honeycomb board right here, I purchased from Longer. The X tool was purchased from Make Block. And the Make Like Sun board was purchased on Amazon. And there'll be links in the description for. All of these except the homemade one so you can kind of compare them for yourself but I just thought I would give a little demonstration here on how these work and the advantage to having one because when you do use a honeycomb board underneath especially coupled with air assist you won't have scorching on either side of the wood and that could be a, a great time saver with your project so if you got anything out of this appreciate getting a thumbs up always helps the channel Roger in the shop thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one